Hello and welcome to another booktube video from me Lauren from Lauren and the Books and today I'm going to be doing a video that has been requested a few times um, twice before I've done two videos regarding my cookbooks that I have um, I've done my Jamie Oliver cookbooks that I love and my favourite cookbooks I think I did that for like Vlogmas a couple of years ago but a few people have said to me would I do videos involving my favourite vegetarian cookbooks your wish will come true today because I'm showing five of my favourite vegetarian cookbooks which is also going to make me very hungry. I had a salad at Nando's probably about four hours ago. I'm beginning to feel quite peckish now. Um, so I've got five here. I will show you um, through them, show you some of my favourite recipes from them and where I found out about them, etc. Um, the first one I'm going to start with is Anna Jones, A Modern Way to Cook. Now I discovered this um, cookbook on um, Rosie Anna's channel. Um, I will link the video down below. She did a month of just cooking from this cookbook. Um, those sort of challenges are challenges that I adore doing and when it's not so hot, although I'm saying it's not so hot, I've actually got the lights on at 7 o'clock which is the first time we've done that in ages and it's raining outside, I'm going to get really back into cooking and I think this might be one of the, I think I might follow in the footsteps of her challenge and um, cook from this for a month. So this is all vegetarian, they are, all four, four of these books are purely vegetarian, one of them has vegetarian options throughout so um yeah as i said this is a modern way to cook it's got 150 recipes in there um and it goes from things like things that are going to take you sort of 20 minutes things that are going to take you 10 minutes it's got your soups it's got things like that um things in here we've made we've made a white bean and sweet potato chili which was delicious do you remember that was very nice wasn't it i'm just looking here this is what i want now look charred celeriac steaks with crispy fr sweet the potato fries. Ooh, that looks nice, delicious. doesn't it? Yeah, she's really good. Um, I, um, oh God, I want this all. <laughs> Sweet potato and ricotta gnocchi with almond pesto. Yum. Um, lots of pasta dishes and things like that. Um, I haven't made loads out of here, but it's one that I got for Christmas this year and I definitely will be looking more into it and using it a bit more. So yeah, really, really, and really like slick and um, just looks beautiful and quite a um, nice, like wait there's lots and lots of photos of the um oh that looks nice as well charred mushroom and cashew pizza yum um yeah nice nice nicely produced book beautiful to look at nice 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 the next one is one that i was a little disappointed when i first bought it um i've shown it in a haul before but actually i've looked at it this week and i found three things that i'm gonna make be making for dinner this week out of it so maybe it wasn't as disappointed as i first thought and that is the Hairy Dieters Go Veggie. Um, so this, I didn't buy this book because it's a diet book. I bought it because the Hairy, the hairy Bikers are these two guys, these two older chaps um, who are um, celebrity chefs in the UK who um, have a series and they go all over the UK basically, don't they? Cooking different meals and stuff. They've got curry books, they've got meaty books, they've got things. And, and I knew that they were bringing out this veggie book and I was quite looking forward to it. It's a nice like paper, big paperback book. Um, and when I first got it, I was a bit like, oh, everything looks the same in it. And I don't think, I'll be honest, I don't think the food photography in this book is great. A lot of it looks like, I mean, come on, who can get excited about that? That's just a pile of ragu on it, some, some, uh, spaghetti however that is one of the dinners that I'm making out this week out of it but yeah a lot of it looks the same there's a lot of brown and beige in here and I don't think the the food photography in it's particularly good um and I haven't made anything out of it this week but I did say I'm going to be making three things out of it so the first thing I'm going to be making is that ragu Let's see if I can find it again I think it's mushroom and lentil ragu one thing I'm excited about making I'm not making it this week because it's a bit too warm for it still but that's mushroom leek and chestnut pie which does look nice um so yeah I'm making mushroom and lentil ragu one day this week I'm also making let's find it let's find it latin american shepherd's pie that's being made and also pea and paneer curry is also being made this week so i will um feed back and how i get on with those um i've had books of there before they're very very easy to follow they all sort of follow this format of um ingredients down this side um and method here um with a photo on david will not cook a recipe out of a recipe book unless there is a photo in there he's shaking his head now he won't do it so this is quite good for that so hopefully those three recipes will be really good um and they will be better than that i find the food photography in there so that's that the next one isn't purely a vegetarian cookbook but it's got vegetarian options throughout this is one of my fave books however i don't make loads out of it but i love 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 browsing it i love the way it's set out and that's salad love um this is david bears of salad pride there's also another one of these books called breakfast love and um, it's split into seasons so it starts with um summer i believe which is an odd 
an odd, an odd season to start with in my eyes. Uh, it's been into seasons and throughout they have um, different salads. So here's some of the sa summer salads. So for instance, every single page is a picture of a salad with the recipe, with the um, ingredients here and the um, the dress in there and you basically just combine. There's no method, you just combine. So here we've got green beans, parmesan and palm nuts and pine nuts, um, which is a vegetarian, and they're all sort of coded here. So they're either vegetarian, vegan, pescatarian, carnivore, raw, I think, or omnivore, I think is the other one. Um, but so this one, for instance, this is a pescatarian um, salad, crab meat, avocado, nori, and cucumber, which does look delicious, but it gives you a raw alternative. So there's always going to be an option to make, even if it's a carnivore, carnivore, not carnivore, omnivore, carnivore, just, just eat meat. Imagine a salad of just meat. Cool. Um, you wouldn't mind. Um, it always gives you a vegetarian option. So let me try and find one here. So here we go. Chorizo, spelt, courgette and black bean um, salad. But a vegan alternative would be to replace the chorizo with more black beans and add two pinches of cherry flakes. So I think this is a really, really great book. I've made a few salads out of here that David and I have taken to lunch um, with us. And we'll definitely be doing that, as I said earlier in an earlier video. Um, David's starting a new job in London. So um, we're going to be making a lot more lunches to take in. So I'm definitely going to be looking at this. And um, it split into seasons I love books that split into seasons particularly cookbooks so you can really get what's in season and just eat a bit more nicer so for instance a winter salad because we I always want to talk about winter fennel carrot pistachios and goji berries doesn't that look lovely really really recommend this want to get my hands on breakfast love um, because I just think it's a really great book the next two are by the same authors and I've mentioned these guys before in a favorites video they also have a youtube channel and I will definitely link that down below and they are the peeps, the boys, the twins from The Happy Pair. Um, so these are an Irish twosome who run a um, food tube channel, um, which is all to do with vegan, mainly vegan, but a few vegetarian options. Um, these are Irish lads who sort of decided that they wanted to become um, vegans after being meat eaters for years and years. So the, the food in here is really delicious. It's really ticking all the boxes in terms of like, for people who might be missing meat, um, etc. This is the first one I got. I saw their, um, I saw their YouTube channel and um, loved it and asked for it for Christmas. I've made quite a few things out of here. Um, oh God, I've just seen that already. The moussaka looks amazing. Um, their recipes are quite hefty. So here we go. This is the moussaka recipe. And there is a picture of the moussaka with one of the twins, Stephen or David. I'm not sure which one that is. I think that's Stephen. Um, and David. it's a, you're David over there. That's a double page with ingredients all the way down here and ingredients all the way down there with a method. So it is hefty. But the payoff is amazing. So I got that one for Christmas one year. One of my favourite things to make out of here, and I might have to pause this and actually look for it, was a fen it was like a bake, a fennel bake. It was delicious. It was hazelnut and fennel bake. So it was it was a winter squash, leek, kale and fennel gratin, which I'd made and thought it was absolutely amazing. That's when we were living in the old flat. We must have Wow. Oh, I got this ages ago, but yeah, that is delicious. Another thing I've made out of here, which I've really loved, has been the potato and bean curry, um, which was really, really delicious. So that's the first book of theirs that I got. And then last year, when when I was um, in Ireland for a friend's wed wedding, um, the second book, The World of the Happy Pair, came out. This came out in Ireland like about a month before it came out in the UK, so I bought it out there all excited. Um, and yeah, I haven't, I'm not sure how much I've made out of here. Oh, I made this soup recently, but I didn't think it was that great. Mm, not the greatest thing, but this is Moroccan grilled red pepper, chickpea, roasted garlic, and harissa soup. Didn't think it was all that. Um, but this has got some delicious things in there. Already I've seen something nice. Blistered grilled veg, feta and pine nut stuffed uh, peppers. That looks nice. So, oh, Claire's duo potato cakes. Yum. So, yeah, those are five of my uh, vegetarian cookbooks. Let me know um, what vegetarian cookbooks you um, use because I'd always, always love to hear from them. They uh, hear from you. <laughs> always, always, always love to hear from you um, cookbooks that are vegetarian because I love cookbooks. I really, really love them. I love getting them for Christmas and um, I just think they're really nice things just to look look through. One of my favourite things to do and we don't do it so much anymore but when David and I plan the week's food that we're going to have, which is something I did this morning, which is why I've picked out three recipes from that um the Hairy Dieters book. But yeah, let me know what your favourite vegetarian cookbooks are. Let me know if you've got any favourite vegetarian or vegan channels. Would love to see those, be interested in those. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all again soon for another booktube chat. Booktube video. Bye.